Thank you to the Longmont Community Justice Partnership. Happy 30th birthday. Play. Happy birthday, LCJP. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, happy anniversary. Feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday, LCJP. Happy birthday, LCJP. Our community definitely couldn't do this without you. Thank you for all you do for the Longmont community. Yes, we love you. And I hope that you're here for another 30 years, impacting our communities and helping us grow as human beings. I'm Tim Waters. Uh, him, his, what would be my other pronoun? <laughs> Him and his, he, him, his, yeah. Uh, my, uh, uh, my role in, in the context of this interview is as a member of the Longmont Community Justice Partnership Board of Directors. I'm a new member of that board. Uh, and I'm active in the community and have been for some time. Uh, the, the issues addressed uh, in the people uh, on whom the LCJP focuses are folks who I care about and have uh, spent a fair amount of time investing in myself. So. Um, my name is Susan Davis. I am, uh, I go by she, her, hers. I work for St. Brain Valley Schools in the capacity as the SEL and school counseling uh, coordinator. And I've been engaged with LCJP for about four years, for about as long as I've been in the position I'm in right now. The first thing that pops into my head um, is how amazing you all are with your own relationships with community, the community. Um, you, you embody the work. It's not just something you do in the community. Um, you truly create those relationships that make people want to reach out and work with you. Um, I know I do. Any opportunity that I get to work with LCJP, um, I am happy to do so. My name is Heather Crate. I use they, them, theirs pronouns, and I support LCJP and all of the great work that they do in the community. When I first started working at the county, my work was in the OASIS program, which is an LGBTQ youth program. So I was working directly with young people from the ages of 12 to 18. Um, as we know, conflict comes up everywhere in life, but in particular in a group setting with a lot of young people. Um, there was just a lot of spaces where uh, the youth were navigating different conflict, either in the community, in their schools, with family, and wanting to help them find healthy ways um, of resolution for that, of repair for relationships. Um, we started partnering, reaching out to LCJP to talk about uh, some trainings on what restorative justice is, how we could incorporate that into some of our values in that program. Um, and then moving forward, now that I oversee the division that OASIS is part of, there's a five programs within the division, mostly that work with youth. Um, and so we've relied on the principles of LCJP and restorative justice um, to support our youth and to support our staff. I'm Dr. Perla Delgado and my pronouns are she, her, a, yes series. I'm the executive director of the I Have a Dream Foundation of Boulder County. We've been working in the community for over 35 years now. And uh, my connection with LCJP actually started way before this role. Um, I grew up in Boulder County and um, really began to do leadership work as a young adult and connected with uh, a mentor of mine, Carmen Ramirez, who was really connected to LCJP, uh, I would say about 17, 18 years ago. And so that's my intersection with the work that was happening at the time um, in the city of Longmont with LCJP and other uh, nonprofit community organizations just trying to elevate the work of community members and really focus on uh, the strengths of our community. And you all have been so welcoming to us and have really helped us elevate our work as a nonprofit within the youth space. And so I really love the work that you do. I'm really passionate about it. And once we started to really <clears throat> connect with you all, we started to realize like this is a perfect partnership. <laughs> We're going to continue hopefully to, to grow um, as a restorative justice organization because of the work that you all are doing. So thank you.